Ooh. The stakes are too high for this same partisan playbook. So let us agree that patriotism has no party. No. I love this country and so do you. Our work will not be easy. The challenges we face require tough choices. Well, but you said everybody's going to get help from you. That's why it's not going to be easy now. For part of what has been lost these past eight years, it's going to help everybody. Can't just be measured by lost wages or bigger trade deficits. What has also been lost is our sense of common purpose. And Com that's what we common have to purpose. Keyword: common. We may not agree on abortion. But surely we can agree on reducing the number of unwanted pregnancies in this country. And how are you going to reduce them? By making the people stop fucking? The reality of fucking? may be different for hunters in rural Ohio than they are for those plagued by gang violence in Cleveland, but don't tell me we can't uphold the Second Amendment while keeping AK-47s out of the hands of criminals. Yeah, no, you cannot uphold the Second Amendment and still keep guns out of the hands of the criminals. The only thing you're going to do is take the guns out of the hands of the good, honest people. The criminals are going to still have guns, dumbass. Can't you fucking figure that out? It's basic. You don't know nothing about the street. You're a fucking dumbass. I know there are differences on same-sex marriage, but surely we can agree that our gay and lesbian brothers and sisters deserve to visit the person they love in a hospital and to live lives free of discrimination. Yeah, they deserve to visit their... Their queer lover in the hospital who's who's getting all kinds of free government health care because he was butt-fucking somebody and got AIDS. And the government should pay for that. That's Obama's world for you. Our passions may fly on immigration, but I don't know anyone who benefits when a mother is separated from her infant child. In Obama world, poor Mexican illegal immigrants are encouraged to hurry up and sneak across the border where especially to the state of Illinois where they can get a driver's license and then they're encouraged to hurry up and vote for Obama so they can get more monetary benefits from the United States government and stay here in America and if they get a job then their employers are supposed to be very harshly dealt with because that's illegal or an employer undercuts American wages by hiring illegal workers. Yeah, well, you don't want inviting them in This, here. too, is part of America's promise. The promise of a democracy where we can find the strength and grace to bridge divides and unite in common effort. I know what the, those the fuck does that mean? Police, yeah. They claim that our insistence on something larger, something firmer and more honest in our public life is just a Trojan horse for higher taxes and the abandonment of traditional values. Yep. If you don't have any fresh ideas, then you use stale tactics to scare voters. No. Actually, Senator Obama, you are not the one with the fresh ideas. You are the one that is seeking to put even more money into the old traditional ways of doing things, which your party has been pushing and plugging for decades which only cost more and more money all the time and do a worse and worse job. In truth, the Republicans have the fresh ideas where they say, how about standing back from the people and allowing them to exercise a free market where everybody has a chance to prosper? Because it feeds into the cynicism we all have about government. Oh, boy. If your hopes have been dashed again and again. If you don't trust government, you're stop. cynical. You know the government's going to fuck you. After all this time of watching what the government does with your money and how it is wasted and abused, and you step up and complain about it and say you want something different, you are cynical. You're cynical if you don't trust these Democrats. How, why doesn't anybody ever call them on their cynicism about not trusting free markets? This election has never been about me. It's about you. Oh yeah, I feel better already. Typical Democrat bullshit. Telling all the people that all the people are going to get everything that they want. The biggest lie ever told.
being retold by Senator Obama to you. Okay. The change we need doesn't come from Washington. Change comes to Washington. Because the American people demand it. How come changing the Clintons came? And insist on new ideas. More freaking gimmicky slogans for all you suckers out there in TV land. You like, you just love the sound of that. You don't understand that it's total bullshit. In the Republicans who never thought they'd pick up a Democratic ballot, but did. All three of them. I've seen it in the workers who would rather cut their hours back a day even though they can't afford it, then see their friends lose their jobs. Get out of here! The who re-enlist after losing a limb. You can't re-enlist after you lose a limb. This country of ours has more wealth than any nation. That's right. But that's not what makes us rich. We have the most powerful military on earth, but that's not what makes us strong. Really? Our universities and our culture are the envy of the world, but that's not what keeps the world coming to our shores. It is that American spirit that American promise that pushes us forward even when the path is uncertain, that binds us together in spite of our differences, that makes us fix our eye not on what is seen, but what is unseen, that better place around the bend. That promise is oh. our greatest inheritance. That in America, our destiny is inextricably linked. That together, our dreams can be won. We cannot walk alone, and as we walk, we must make the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back, not with so much work to be done, not with so many children to educate and so many veterans to care for, not with an economy to fix and cities to rebuild and farms to save, not with so many families to protect and so many lives to mend. I'm convinced. The man is mesmerizing. He's a glorious speaker. And he shall fix every single thing that's broken in this country. Everything is broken, and he's going to fix it all. At this moment, in this election, we must pledge once more to march into the future. Thank you. God bless you. Wow, check it out. I just figured out how to focus this camera. <laughs> I didn't know you were supposed to turn the little thing. <laughs>